The brand new $20 Yeezy pods have just come in. Now let's go ahead and get right into it. Oh man, I've been waiting over a month for a pair of these and I can't wait to show you guys. Th then they threw some socks in here too. Some Michael Kors socks. That's that's fantastic. <laughs> All right, so my acting skills aren't the best. So what I decided to do in this video today is to kind of create the $20 Yeezy pods. Now, I already ordered a pair of them back on February 11th, and I've been extremely excited to the point where I'm checking the mail almost every single day, even though I haven't gotten a shipping confirmation or anything, just in hopes that I'll be able to see that it's in the mail. Call me naive, but I highly believed that the website would give me the correct estimate of time, which was four weeks for the Yeezy Pods and two weeks for all the other merch for t-shirts and the sweatpants. I've got nothing, and we're now on March 16th, so it's been over a month since I haven't received anything. So, with me being very impatient, I decided that I'm going to create my own Yeezy Pods using my own resources. So let's get right into it. So here's what you're gonna need in order to make your own Yeezy Pods. First, water shoes. You're gonna need to have insoles in them. Second, you're gonna need some nice thick socks. Third, you're gonna need scissors in order to cut the material of the water shoes. Four, you're gonna need a hot glue gun. And five, you're gonna need hot glue sticks. Okay, so I think the first thing that I'm gonna do is actually get right into the main part of the sneaker which is just cutting this right open. So I'm gonna start with these scissors and go right down the middle and just get rid of all that mesh upper because we do not need this. So let's go ahead and take out the insole. We will need those later. I'm gonna take out the insole for both of these. But the first focus, I'm gonna go ahead and see if I can cut through all of this first because we are not gonna need this right now. Um, I ordered these, I ordered two pairs, one for me, one for my wife. And I've been waiting for these for a while and I just came up with this crazy idea and I've never done like a tutorial or something like this before. But here we are. Um, sometimes when life gives you lemons, you make lemonade. So already, I kind of like just having this sole as it is. It kind of already has that, that vibe for like Yeezy. You see all these really cool designs in the swirls. And like I said, they have this pattern that looks like a 350 on the side. And it's gonna keep my foot caged in here. So as you can see, I already cut off all that upper. So let me go ahead and cut open this next one. Do the same thing. I cut this right down the middle and then cut off all the excess of the cloth. Like I said, the, this idea came to me uh, because like I said, I was, I've was i been waiting for a while for the Yeezy Pods to come through. It's been over a month and I'm sure all the people that ordered those $20 Yeezy Pods have been waiting anxiously and some people are actually getting their like merch, like the t-shirts and the sweatpants already. And I've been jealous and that's part of the reason why it is that I've been checking my mailbox because I'm like, maybe, just maybe, I'll get at least the Vultures t-shirt or something, but I haven't gotten no notification on anything and I haven't even seen anything pop up in the mail. So the upper has been taken off of this one. So now we are faced with two insoles right here. So let me go ahead and pop open the socks itself and see what it's looking like okay so we have two socks here and look they already look like easy pods with no soles let me start by putting maybe the sole in so it could create a shape so i'm going to take this insole and i'm going to put it inside of the sock we could already see we've got some motion in the ocean here so once you put the insole inside of the sock we're already starting to get like the easy pod vibe as it is I think this is what the basic idea is, is to get this insole inside of the sock, put it down on the bed of this water shoe by hot gluing it, and hopefully we have a pair of Yeezy Pods. So let's keep it going. I'm going to give this a generous amount of hot glue onto the actual sole. Here we go. 
I gotta move quick. Make sure you have a bunch of hot glue just in case, cause you never know how much you're actually gonna need for your project. So now this is the part where you're gonna be very careful by laying it down, don't burn yourself, but make sure you line it up correctly. There we go. Okay, edge to edge, push it on in there, and just really firmly press it in. There we go. So I'm gonna push this one to the side and go ahead and do the exact same thing on the next sole. This is looking good so far, guys. I like this. I like this tutorial. It's art time with Jolo2TV. We <laughs> keep on applying pressure. There we go. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna let this cool down a little bit so that we can go ahead and do an on foot review for you guys and do some final touches. So anyways, I'll check back in with you guys in a second. All right. And like that, after it's all completely cooled down, we have a pair of Yeezy pods made at home. So I'm gonna go ahead and do an on foot review of it and then come back to you guys for my final thoughts. So there you have it, a homemade pair of Yeezy pods that actually work as Yeezy pods. Now, like I said, I'm not gonna sit here and say that this is a replacement piece to what your Yeezy pods are going to be, but they are an alternative. In the meantime, if you just want to do something for fun and do like a hands-on craft. Now, I really think that this was a fun project and it actually came out pretty decent, maybe a little bit more decent than what it is that I thought was gonna come out. So I put this on and it feels just like what you would think. It's a sock with a rubber sole. And that's kind of it. That's basically right here, the idea of the Easy Pod. Obviously, I don't have a pair of the Easy Pods to review myself to give you a perfect comparison between the two. This right here is probably not something that you're gonna wanna wear forever. It's not super, super comfortable to be completely honest with you, but at the end of the day, it has that aesthetic of the sock shoe vibe. So as you can see, you can make a pair of Easy Pods for under $20 at home with just a few different pieces of supplies. And if you are gonna be trying to do this, let me know down below in the comments and let me know what you think of the design that I ended up creating. Anyways, Joel2TV, out.